Welcome to English 162, College Composition 2. My name is Natalie Daniels, and I'll be your instructor for this course. I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you better. Uh, this is an online course, so just be sure that you're aware of that. Um, if you have any questions on that, please let me know. So a little bit about me. I am a huge comic book nerd and science fiction nerd. I'm hoping to be at Comic-Con this March. I'll keep you posted on that. I have a master's degree in English literature from Tiffin University and a bachelor's in studio art from Cleveland State. I'm married and I've been a host mom to two different exchange students. My first one last year was from Japan and this year my student is from Denmark. I have three pets, a dog named Meatloaf, and two cats named Cookie and Stella. And I have been here at LCCC since the fall of 2015. The first class I taught here was 162, and I've also taught 061 and 161. Here at LCCC, I'm an adjunct professor, like many professors here. And that just means that I am part-time and I work at other places as well. So I also work at Tri-C and I work at Smart Thinking. And all of my jobs have to do with English composition. Before I got into teaching and academia, I worked in background investigations for a number of years. So there are a few expectations and requirements for the course, and we'll go over that more in depth when we look at the next video, which covers the syllabus. But a few things to keep in mind. You need to have the books sooner rather than later, especially the book from Inquiry into Academic Writing. If you had Comp 1 last semester, it's the book that you used for 161. So hopefully you still have that. <laughs> if you haven't had Comp 1 for a while, then you'll need to make sure that you obtain the book from the bookstore. The novel, 1984, you won't actually need until just before spring break. I do expect that you will complete and turn in assignments. I expect they will be completed fully and to the best of your ability. I expect that you participate in discussion boards each week. That's more or less your attendance for the course. If you start missing discussion boards, I'm going to assume that you are ghosting the class and run the risk of getting an automatic F for the course. So make sure that you log in regularly and that you're participating in those discussion boards. I expect that you will be using Canvas. Again, this is an online course, so to do well in the course, you have to be logged into Canvas. Make sure you run the Canvas student orientation. If you haven't, you won't be able to participate in the course fully. If you haven't, I will be reaching out to you shortly uh, to let you know that you're showing up as not having completed that. So if you have questions on this, please let me know. I do expect that you use the library. Essays 2, 3, and 4 this semester require visiting the library either virtually or in person. So there will be an assignment in a few weeks that will help guide you through that process. Assignments should be completed to the MLA in submission. We will have a review assignment shortly covering MLA needs. If you have questions on this, please let me know. And I suggest just keeping it simple. So things like your works cited page, if you need me to, if you have questions on MLA, I will be more than happy to answer those. I do expect that your behavior is both professional and respectful. If you're talking to me via email or discussion board, if you're talking to your peers with discussion board posts, be respectful. College is in preparation for you to enter professional lives, so practice now how you would typically behave when you're off into the real world after college. I expect that you under 
understand the syllabus and if you've read the syllabus, we will um, be going over that shortly. But here's a few, you know, where the syllabus is and so you can get on and have a lot of great information there on there. You might have a question that you need to have answered, then it's pulling up the syllabus immediately. Um, and from me, what are we doing next year? To what part of the book should I be reading? Um, those questions will often be answered either in the syllabus or from another document. I'll have a web course. I am having to go prepare this week to set the pen aside for discussion boards and the work. of writing involved. The general rule of thumb is that you need to spend two to three hours per pen hour before you work. So let's say you went to a meet for pen hours. Let's say you spent an extra pen time. You are spending six to nine hours outside of classroom time for discussion boards, reports on the paper, and in the paper. So keep that in mind. That includes research producing your journal of reading and spending a third of your day in the tech and canvas portion of this you'll be doing your work and you'll have tech and canvas for work in communications all kinds of stuff you might want pen and paper pen and paper out because that's how you share work and text work 